Newer Democratic Party candidates for office are no longer afraid of the socialist label and are now embracing it as they campaign. As the progressive, I mean socialist, left comes out of the woodwork, are we on the verge of a workers' revolution and socialist takeover of America? I'm Robin Kinderman and you're watching JBS Straight Talk. A recent New York Times article entitled, Yes, I'm Running as a Socialist, Why Candidates Are Embracing the Label in 2018, highlights how one particular winner of the Democratic Party nomination for criminal court judge in Houston, Texas, embraces the socialist label. Franklin Bynum, a 34-year-old defense attorney, won the nomination and celebrated his victory at a crowded restaurant. Many of the supporters there were members of the Democratic Socialists of America, or DSA. The Times quoted Bynum as saying, yes, I'm running as a socialist. And according to the Times, Bynum isn't the only self-proclaimed socialist running for office this year. It reports, he is among dozens of DSA members running in this fall's midterms for offices across the country at nearly every level. In Hawaii, Kaniela Ng, a state representative, is running for Congress. Gail McLaughlin, a former mayor of Richmond, California, is running to be the state's lieutenant governor. In Tennessee, Dennis Prater, an adjunct professor at East Tennessee State University, is running to be a county commissioner. Those were but a few of the self-described democratic socialists the Times named. But they also point out many of the DSA supporters are millennials, most of whom were born after the Cold War. They wrote, Studies suggest that young people with few memories of the Cold War embrace socialism far more than older people do. A 2016 survey of 18 to 29 year olds by Harvard's Institute of Politics found that 16% identified as socialists, while 33% supported socialism. Only 42% supported capitalism, while a majority, 51%, said they did not. What exactly is socialism, you ask? Socialism is when the government owns and controls the means of production, such as the factories and farms and other manufacturing plants. According to Marxist theory, socialism is the transitional state between capitalism and communism, and that when true communism is achieved, the state will wither away and everybody will be equal. But in order to make everyone equal and enforce the redistribution of wealth, government-backed force is required. This is why every socialist or communist state has resulted in despotic dictatorships and mass genocide. A good educational tool for exposing both the Democratic Socialists of America as well as the Communist Party USA is Trevor Loudon's DVD documentary, The Enemies Within, based off his extensively researched book. We recommend that you watch this DVD and get copies to share with others. We also recommend booking Trevor Loudon to speak in your community. Our Speakers Bureau would be happy to help, that, help you with that. Links to both Loudon's DVD and our Speakers Bureau page are in the video description. To thoroughly defeat the DSA, the Communist Party, and their anti-American agenda, we recommend organizing at the grassroots level. That's why our founder Robert Welch created the John Birch Society as he did. Together with your membership and participation, we can help expose the socialists, communists, and their agenda, and support the Constitution. So until next time, take care and God bless.